Hey everybody, hope you're having an awesome day. We're back here in Dragonvale World and today we're going to be showing you how to breed the new Bountiful Dragon. You can see over here on the right side, whoops, I tapped something by mistake there. Uh, down the second one, sale, 17 days, 20 hours. That's the new Bountiful Dragon. Uh, we can go check it out in the market and tap on Dragons. And there it is, the first one, the new Bountiful Dragon. Uh, we've got 17 days, 20 hours to go. I think it came out around the 22nd of November. Uh, it just came out a few days ago. And you can also get an Enchanted Bountiful Dragon, but you need to get the Bountiful first to unlock the Enchanted Bountiful Dragon. And also, if we go back here, uh, it might be ghosted out or because we already have it in the park but there's a, a, a treat habitat right over here at the very end and we've got all the habitats were maxed out that's why it's all locked everything's locked and uh, blacked out or darkened so there's a new treat habitat so we have the bountiful dragon here in in the hatchery the first one, we got a couple hours left. It's a 23 hour breed time, so if you get it in the cave or the island, you're going to see 22 hours, 59 minutes, and that will tell you it's the Bountiful Dragon. And we got the Bountiful Dragon. I'm just going to get rid of this dragon, which is an Alpine Dragon. And I'm going to sell you because we have lots of this dragon. And we're going to finish off here in the uh, the island because we have a, a combo here all done. And we got another fur dragon. What a surprise. So we got the bountiful dragon with this combo here. A jungle level 17 and a frozen level 18. And we put this combo into the island and we got the bountiful first try. We were very lucky. Uh, it didn't take a whole bunch of tries and we got it right off the bat, the 22 hours and 59 minutes. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to hatch the Bountiful Dragon. Uh, in order to do that, we got to finish off, let's finish off these treats. Got to keep our uh, farm going. One more to go. There we go. So we have the Bountiful ha Habitat right over here. And we're going to finish the Bountiful Habitat. And there it is. The new Bountiful Habitat. That was pretty cool. It's a nice looking habitat. Lots of fall colors. The oranges and the golds. and It looks great. I like this habitat. Let's go get our Bountiful Habitat now. and Our Bountiful Dragon. And put it in the Treat Habitat. I've been calling it the Bountiful Habitat. It's the Treat Habitat. So we're going to finish this. With uh, just a few gems. And it's a new... Dragon for the park. And there's our bountiful dragon. I think we can rotate it around. There we go. And check it out. It's got leaves and berries and stuff all around it. Great design. Great looking dragon. Uh, it does change quite a bit. It gets a long, tall neck on it. But let's place it into the treat habitat. Right there. And there's a bountiful in our Dragonarium. We'll tap on that and see if we get any rewards. Two gems. Nice. And this dragon, I think, requires food to level up. Rather than dragon cash. See, you got 101, or oh, it makes food. Sorry, 
it earns food rather than dragon cash, is what I meant to say. So we're going to level it up, but it does take a bit more food than the normal dragon. So you rate at level 2, we're at 197. So we're going to go up to level 4, because at level 4 you'll be able to breed the dragon. Maybe we'll go up to level 5. See now it's already up at, at level 5, you got 1,113 food that you need. And it does go up a lot higher. By the time you get up to level 19, is I think it's like 59,000 or 92,000. I think it's 99,000. Something like that. We definitely have the food, but what we're doing is we're holding back on our food because I don't really need to level up the dragons that much right now. And I'm waiting till the next event that gives me the double food. Uh, and then I'm going to level up my dragons during that event because it'll help me finish that event um, a lot faster or get hopefully to the, the uh, third reward and finish that because it's the only event I haven't been able to finish. But here's our bount bountiful dragon in the park. I'm trying to see if I can spin this dragon and it's not going. Well, let's take a look at it in the park. There's a bountiful dragon. Very cool. And the habitat is going to collect seven food an hour, I imagine. And to upgrade this habitat is three million. It takes six days. Wow. Six days to upgrade the habitat. And it's three million to upgrade it. It goes from a thousand to seven thousand five hundred food an hour and you can put up to three dragons once you have it leveled up which is amazing so I have the I have the dragon uh, cache here so I think I'm gonna get the upgrade started and hopefully I'll get the enchanted or another another bountiful dragon that I can add to the habitat just so I can see, wow, the change. Now, this as soon as I hit that green check mark, it's going to disappear and go back to the small one. But here you can see the larger treat habitat and what it looks like. And a lot more detail. It's got a big, huge orange tree in the middle. Uh, more flowers and fencing around the outside. It looks pretty amazing. So, six days... And this will be in the park. That's a long time to wait. But there's the uh, bountiful dragon. You see flying away up there at the top. So let's okay this. And back down with the fence around. And six days. I may speed it up with some gems. But in six days we'll have it. Now our breeding on this dragon was it was very lucky as I said I got the bountiful at the very beginning with the jungle and frozen after that um, I tried for the bountiful again and I think I got uh, let me see about 10 fails which were fur dragons or alpine dragon I got a fur and then an alpine and an alpine and a fur and an alpine and an alpine and a fur and a fur and an alpine it was ridiculous but let's try it again and see if we get a fur an alpine or another bountiful dragon that's a fur dragon so an hour late in an hour I'll have a fur dragon uh, I also tried some combos in the cave and right now you can see there's a alpine and a fur that's what I started with that gave me an alpine and then an alpine then I tried an enchanted jungle and a frozen and I got alpine fur alpine fur and then an, I tried an alpine and a frozen in the breeding cave and that just gave me two furs in a row 
And then I went back to the Enchanted Jungle and a Frozen Dragon again, because I saw that somebody else got the Bountiful with that combo. And then I got three furs, then an Alpine, and then a fur, and then five Alpines in a row. So it was fur or Alpine, it was ridiculous. At some times there was an Alpine going on the island and the cave. Two different combos, but the exact same dragon I was getting. Uh, and then I went back at the very end to a fur and an alpine. Uh, I got an enchanted fur, which you can see right here in the hatchery, the first one. And then I got a fur after that, and then I think I, I have an alpine going right now in the cave. So it was lots and lots of fails. I was so lucky to get it the first try uh, in the breeding island. But I'm going to hatch the enchanted fur dragon, just so you guys can see what it looks like, because I don't think I've even seen enchanted fur. And there's the enchanted fur dragon, very cool. And I don't think I have room to place it anywhere, but I can put it in a frozen or a jungle habitat. No room for the dragon. There's no room in the park. So I'm going to go make some room. I think I'll put it in one of the frozen habitats because I know yeah, I got two fossil dragons. I have a fossil dragon here at 15 a fossil here at 9. So I'm going to move this fossil tap on that little blue eye that little circle down there and hit the double Z's put it into the hibernation cave and I'm going to go put the enchanted fur dragon right there into the frozen habitat. So I guess one good thing that comes out of so many fails is you do get enchanted dragons eventually. That does take a bit of a, a bit of time, but eventually you do get lucky and get a an enchanted dragon in our case a, an enchanted fur. And you got one gem from the enchanted fur dragon. And let's go feed this guy. Hit the food button. And there's our enchanted fur. We can do a little spin around. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> this cute little body and his, his tail wagon. And the col colors are pretty cool. So you can see the, the feed is, is a lot lower than it was with the enchanted bountiful, or the, see I'm wishful thinking here, with the bountiful dragon. You know, to four, it's only 47. With the Bountiful, it was like 382. So the Bountiful is a lot higher. I think to, to level up the Bountiful to level 20 is a million seven hundred or 800, a million 800 uh, dragon food. So it is a lot. That's why I'm waiting for the double food event. But this isn't as much. So I'm going to go up to level 9 with this dragon and there's the enchanted fur dragon very cool awesome we got an enchanted dragon it's always great getting enchanted dragons and there is the enchanted dragon flying around very cool and go back over here to our bountiful dragon. So next, we're going to try to breed the enchanted bountiful dragon. We can go look in our dragons now. Sorry, not in our dragons, in our market. And tap our dragons. Our enchanted bountiful dragon is now unlocked. You can buy it with 750 gems. We could do that, but I would. I really want to try and breed it first. Uh, and it's the same breed time, 17 day. Oh, sorry, never mind. It doesn't give you the breed time. One day, 23 hours. So this is a one day breed time. So it's 24. I guess it'll show you uh, 23 hours, 59 minutes for the Enchanted Bountiful Dragon. And it starts at 90 dragon food an hour, which is 
a lot higher or just as much? No, it's that's strange. Oh, because that's I've leveled this up. I imagine that's why it's 101. So this looks like it starts at 90 dragon food an hour. And it is a day breed time. So we're going to try for the enchanted bountiful dragon. It looks pretty awesome with the colors as well. And I'm going to obviously breed with a bountiful and uh, maybe a jungle or a bountiful and a frozen because I don't have two bountifuls that I can breed together. So I'll start with that as soon as these combos are finished. I also have to get back to trying to get the enchanted hieroglyph dragon. which is right over here one day four hour breed time so there you have it there's lots of combos for the in the bountiful dragon and uh, try those combos I hope you get it uh, right off the bat like we did or it doesn't take too many fails and you can have this cool dragon in your park uh, if you do notice you've got the Bountiful Dragon uh, with the, the 22 hours, 59 minute breed time. Go and get the habitat and get that started because it takes, uh, I think it's 24 hours to, uh, to build into your park. And uh, it'll be done by the time your Bountiful Dragon is ready. So that wraps it up for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos from Dragon Vale World. We'll see you guys next time.